Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Hilal Live. Thanks for watching us on Channel 347 on DSTV. Now, tonight we're covering a very important topic, which is human trafficking, which still exists, impacting millions of lives and generating billions of dollars every year. Now, essentially, it's uh, regarded as modern day slavery. On the line, uh, joining us via Zoom to tell us a, p a bit more from the company A21, which is a campaign and organization created to highlight and educate uh, all of us about human traffic trafficking. Uh, I'd like to welcome Chantal uh, Brecht. Chantal, good uh, afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. My absolute pleasure. For those that don't understand too much about human trafficking, maybe uh, let's uh, start with that. What exactly? is regarded as human trafficking. Great, so human trafficking is essentially the buying and selling of human beings. Victims are forced to use their bodies for sex or labor, and many people are under the impression that you know, the only type of trafficking is forced prostitution. However, there are many different forms um, of human trafficking, such as domestic servitude, forced labor, and human trafficking is also a um, crime hidden in plain sight. So it can present itself as other social issues and crimes, such as domestic violence, for example. But a crime becomes human trafficking when someone is forced to do something against their will and when there is an aspect of money involved. So basically, the trafficker will always have some sort of financial gain. Right. What does it look like closer to home in South Africa? We've heard various reports over the last uh, very many years about incidents around human trafficking. Yeah, well, according to the Global Slavery Index, 54% of South Africans are vulnerable to human trafficking. Traffickers prey on vulnerable groups such as women and children and others. And through the hotline, so through the National Trafficking Hotline, we um, have received over 3,000 calls um, in the past year, and 79.2% of those calls were human trafficking related. And there are still lots more of cases that are just not being reported. So that's just the stats coming through our hotline. South Africa is also a source, transit, and destination country for human trafficking, which means that people are trafficked locally within our communities. Um, they are being transported from other countries to South Africa for the purpose of exploitation or they are being transported through South Africa to get to another destination. Sure. It sounds quite serious. And, you know, we all need to be aware of what's happening out there as well. Chat to us about, you know, the recruitment trends at the moment. Uh, what should our audience and our viewers look out for? 100%. So since the COVID-19 pandemic, we have seen a drastic increase in false job opportunities. And, um, you know, many people started losing their jobs during COVID time and traffickers saw this as um, an opportunity to lure victims into human trafficking. So um, this trend has continued throughout the years. And in the last year, 47.6% of victims were recruited through false job opportunities. Sure. And uh, most of these victims are recruited from other provinces, such as Gauteng or KZN, and brought into the Western Cape to be exploited. Um, and because of this trend, the hotline you know, saw the need to provide a job vetting service. So that means that um, anyone can call the hotline on 0800 777, and then we can do a job vetting to, you know, to make sure that that job opportunity that you're going for is legitimate. Yeah, I think that's uh, been a major issue as well. People being uh, falsely um, lured into various opportunities, and especially with our economy being so tough as well. People want to go into these opportunities wanting a better life. How should our public uh, watching this interview today go about uh, job vetting various um, you know, companies? The hotline is the one um, that you've mentioned, which I think is absolutely amazing. Are there uh, other avenues that they can explore to just to you know, highlight this red flag? So... Um I would firstly say that everyone should know what the red flags look like. So um, I would look out for red flags such as, um, you know, unrealistic salaries, companies who are using free email addresses such as Gmail or Yahoo, or um, maybe they ask one to pay something before going for an interview or before going for the job. Um, usually there are also no specific requirements or qualifications needed for the job. 
um, as well as handing over your physical documentation to the employer. Um, so definitely know your red flags. And if you do come across an opportunity um, that, you know, doesn't look quite right or you're not sure that it is, you know, legitimate or not, call the hotline. We will be able to do all the um, vetting for you. And then if it is a scam, we do report to the necessary authorities to investigate that that mm. specific company. The victims of these um, trafficking, the human trafficking, um, is there any support that's given for them or um, awarded to them so that they can, you know, move past this terrible incident? Yes, 100%. So um, A21 has three departments that we cover. So we have our reach department, our recover and restore. So in our reach department, that is where we basically go into our most vulnerable communities and we raise awareness on, on human trafficking. Um, it all starts with awareness. And as soon as people know more about human trafficking, you know, we can take preventative measures. Secondly, our um, recovery department, that's where we um, run our national human trafficking hotline in South Africa, which is operated by A21 South Africa. Mm -hmm. So through the hotline, this is where we're able to um, identify victims of trafficking. We do telephonic screenings on the line, um, you know, to identify trafficking and then do the appropriate referrals. Okay. Um, and then lastly, in our restore department, this is where we run a freedom center in Cape Town, and it's a dropping center for our survivors to come into. We run various programs with our survivors, and we basically walk um, a road with our survivors to make sure that they reach that state of independence and they just get their life back. Of course. So that's uh... what it is. As, as an organization. Yeah, that's very, very important as well, that uh, they have some type of opportunity to continue their life and put this incident behind them. With uh, being an international organization, I would imagine that you link up with various authorities in these various cities. And is there a bit of a link that is shared and communicated? Um, so A21 is a global organization, so we are based in 18 locations, and that's the beauty of having a global organization is if there is a case in a different country and we have an office in that country, we are able to connect with them and, um, you know, reach more people. Um, we've recently seen a trend in um, Thailand, in our South East Asia countries where people are lured um, from South Africa to um, Thailand and countries like Cambodia, for example, and they are forced to do online scam work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had a few victims who were tricked into this scenario. And, you know, even through our job vetting service, we would we were able to prevent this from happening and um, also able to help victims on that side by um, communicating with our office in Thailand. So um, that is the beauty of being a global organization to just help more people. Brilliant. Should any of the public uh, like to highlight and bring this uh, human trafficking, um, you know, to the authorities? Are there social media platforms or what are the best ways to get hold of someone to let them know what's happening? Absolutely. Um, I would firstly say call the National Human Trafficking Hotline on 0800 222 We are a 24-7 hotline, so we are available um, throughout the year, every day. Um, so if you have any suspicions of human trafficking or anything that you would like to report, call the hotline. And essentially, we will be that middleman to then report these cases of trafficking and you know try and do all the coordination behind rescuing victims of trafficking out of the situations right very quickly if you want to run through what are some of the red flags our communities need to know or identify should they be or suspect a human trafficking syndicate operating in their community mm -hmm. so um you know we've seen a lot of um communities, especially our vulnerable communities where there are even, you know, family members who are selling their children to um, gang members for a week, for a day, um, you know, selling their children to gang members to get like, you know, some sort of financial gain. Um, if you are noticing any of that in your communities, we've also noticed, um, you know, they are not really wanting to report to the police 
if you call the hotline and report these certain scenarios, um, you are able to remain anonymous. And that's the big thing that we want to communicate um, yeah. to people that you can remain anonymous whenever you do have a um, a report. So anything that you notice that is quite suspicious in your communities, uh, maybe you're noticing um, you know, a sense of control among gang members or anything like that, um, where you think that there might be people exploited in a house um, or a illegal brothel, call the hotline. Um, you can remain anonymous and we'll do the report for you. Hotline manager at A21, Chantal Brecht. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much uh, for coming on board and educating us with regards uh, to human trafficking. We wish you all the very best. We will link up with you in the near future as well. Have a great evening. You're so welcome. Thank you. My pleasure. And there we go. Um, covering the topic of uh, human trafficking, it's not something we'd like to consider, think about, but it really happens in our communities. So if you find that uh, something like this is happening in your community, get hold of A21 and alert them so that they can alert the authorities. That's all that we have for you from uh, Hilal TV. I'm Luke Shadrach.